guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video so i am finally back once again and this is going to be my first video of 2024 so i did take a break for a couple of months but i really wanted to come back with a new style of video like something different because i feel like one of the reasons that i have been taking such long breaks is because i'm kind of getting bored with doing the same type of video over and over again i really wanted to change it up and try something new so I'm also deciding to make a new series. We've never done a series on my channel. We're basically just going to call it nail vlogs, something like that. I don't really know. These types of videos are going to be more relaxed, a little bit less tutorial-like, and also less explanation of what I'm doing. It's not so step-by-step. -step. I'm also trying to have fun with the camera angles and the editing and just make these videos more chill. So it's more like a relaxing vlog of me doing my nails. And the other thing that I'm trying to achieve with this series is to fall back in love with doing nails again because I feel like that is something that I've lost over the last year. I don't really have the desire anymore to do nails, which is very sad. And I would say the last thing is actually wearing my nails after I do them because I never wear my nails once I finish them. I always pop them off. I actually want to wear my nails for a good amount of time, you know, as long as I can really because one of the best things about doing your nails is getting to wear them when you're done. I want to enjoy that again and just actually being able to enjoy Enjoy my work. For this nail set, I want to do something like this. Also, ignore the phone. This is my old phone. I don't know if you can tell, but I did get an upgrade. I upgraded my phone, so hopefully the quality of the video is a little bit better, but that's why this phone looks a bit rough. This is the nail design I want to do. I know it's already past Valentine's Day, but you know, it's still February. And out of all the Valentine's Day designs that I found, I think this is one of my favorites, so I at least want to do this nail set. I also drew the nail design as well. I saw this like out line template for nails so you can make your own nail designs and I decided to draw the nail set just for fun basically because it's the same exact nail set as the picture glitter nude base with a white French tip red lace nail art parts and then some red bows So here are my natural nails. As you can see, they are very, very crusty. I have not done any nails for two months now. I'm excited to get these cleaned up and ready to go for some nails. So like I said in the beginning, I don't really want these videos to be super tutorial-like. I just want it to be relaxing and fun to watch, like we're doing nails together. And that's why I'm calling it a nail vlog. It's just like you're coming along with me as I do my nails. I'm just going to do one hand today. I'll probably do my other hand in another video. I also just want to quickly mention that I'm not going to completely never do nail tutorial type videos ever again. I do still love doing tutorials, explaining everything I do and teaching you guys how I do the nails. So I still would like to do tutorial videos as well, just mixing in our nail vlog series. And I think this new series is gonna be so fun and just that change that we needed.
so I am going to be doing these nails to last. Just to be a bit more on the gentle side, I'm going to use some base coat to glue on the nail tips. And then I'll just cure them in place with my UV flashlight. I almost forgot I have these anti-UV gloves. It's from Model Ones. It was like a PR package, I think. So we are going to use these. I should have definitely put these on way before, but I totally forgot. The only problem, my fingers are a little short because, or at least the middle finger, because it covers like the nail part of my little finger. I'm also using a new nail light. I've used the same nail light for the whole entire time I've ever been doing nails. So I think it's time for a change. This one is very nice and has a timer and everything. I'm just kind of figuring out how to use it. And also another thing with this one is that when I have it plugged in, I'm sure you're not able to hear it, but I can hear it. It's like a very quiet buzzing sound coming from this. It's doing it right now. So like when I use it, I'll have to unplug it or else I'm going to be annoyed because I can hear it. I don't really know if I like the glove. It's a bit uncomfortable to work with, I think. I probably will get different ones on Amazon, but today I don't think I want to use this. So for the length of these, I'm going to do them not too long because, you know, I'm going to be wearing these. I don't really feel like struggling too much having long nails. And also I haven't worn nails in a very long time. You know, I try tilting my hand down so that the nail tip doesn't fly everywhere and it still kind of does. I feel like that's a good length. Okay, so I filed the nail tips and just a tip if you're at this stage of your nails. The next step would definitely be to add some dehydrator and primer. I use the Mia Secret one. I've also seen this combination where they use this primer and dehydrator and then they use this Young Nails Protein Bond and allegedly it makes your nails last super long. I don't need my nails to last that long but that's just something that if you guys want to try let me know in the comments if it does actually work. I'm also going to use these new gel polishes that I have. My sister got them for me for Christmas. And they are these really pretty glittery nude colors. I guess it'll be between these two. This one's a bit more of a fine glitter. And this one has bigger glitters in it. I don't know which one's going to look best, but we'll keep them both out.
want to work on my speed just not worry about how perfect the nails have to look i have to remember that i'm going to shape them anyway you know application does not have to be perfect not stress about it too much basically I'm gonna try and do the shaping pretty quickly because I feel like they look pretty good already. Gotta have the dust collector going. This needs to be on. <laughs> I'm going to do the glitter base. I think I'm going to try both of the gels and see which one I like better.
This one's a bit more subtle. I think I like this one more. I like that it's subtle. I feel like these glitters are a bit too chunky. Glitter gel polish is on. And now I'm going to do the French tips. I kind of wanted to try the method where you just paint on the white gel polish first and then you go back in with a brush and clean up the shape. It's not a bad way. I'm definitely going to have to kind of fix it with the brush. Overall, not bad. It's not perfect, but I'm just going to keep it. I think it's good enough. And it was actually pretty quick. It was definitely quicker than the rest of them. Not a bad method at all. Okay, next I'm working on the red outline.
Guys, I just remembered something. You know, the one time that I do my nails for real, I can't have nails on. So tomorrow I'm literally going to the eye doctor to go do that test you have to do when you get contacts. It's like a class and they show you how to put in your contact lenses and then you have to do it yourself. How am I going to do it with these on, guys? There's no way I'm doing it with these on. That is so sad because I'm going to have to take these off now. So either I'm going to try and pick them off or... I'll have to do a whole removal. We'll see what we do at the end. We're gonna see these through though. I'm gonna do the nail design. See if I can pick them off because I don't like to do a full removal of my nails because I don't like to, you know, cut them in half and file them down because like I like to save my nails. These were looking so cute so far too. I really wanted to wear them. The one time I don't use a peel off base coat. Anyway, let's finish these up. I'm gonna work on the hearts and then I'm gonna do the bows and that should be it. So I like this, but I think I want to make the heart smaller. This is what I got. I couldn't do the small dots in between the parts because it was just too small. I kind of felt it was unnecessary anyway. So small you can't even see it. The design would definitely work better on longer nails. This is just what we got. This is what we're working with. So the last thing we're gonna do is add on the red bows. What do we think of the nails? I think they're so cute and I really wish I could have worn them. That's like the whole point of our new nail series is to actually enjoy the nails and wear them. It seems like it's, it's just not meant for us. <laughs> We're just not meant to wear nails, guys. So I am going to enjoy these for a little bit. Then I'm gonna take them off. Hopefully I can pop them off easily. If not, oh, that's just gonna be really sad. <laughs> and a lot of extra work. But I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of our nail vlog series. Starting to enjoy doing nails again. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought about it. And I'm very happy to be back posting. I missed you guys. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. I really appreciate all of you, but I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.